Hey guys, it's Gary. Uh, this is my sixth video in a row. Um, day five of making a video every day, so I'm gonna keep my record going. Um, I want to talk about some, a little bit of personal stuff. Uh, being confident in yourself and not to feel sorry for yourself because the one, the most attractive thing you can find in a person is confidence. If they are, you know, 300 pounds, like, look good in these jeans, and they, you know what I mean? If they're confident, that's so sexy. <laughs> like, I don't care. And if, whatever you got, you know what I mean? Your skin color, your natural hair texture, your, there's plenty of things you can be, like, self-conscious about. But, if you say, I don't care, society, I'm confident in myself, regardless, regardless what the standard of beauty is, regardless for what people tell me I should be, regardless for what the outside opinions are, and the outside, ah, oh, you need to do this, ah, oh, you need to do this, are you ever gonna get braces, are you gonna do this, oh my god, you would look so much better with like all this makeup on your face, la 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 la, and just like, huh, no, no. I mean, makeup's cool. I love. I'm like, I'm in cosmetology. I'm like, yeah. I went to hair school. I love it. It's fascinating. It's an art. I consider it an art. But it's not artistic when you're just kicking on a pound of it and just like it's just so apparent that you're just that self-conscious. Like that isn't sexy. That isn't. You know what I mean? Just like do it correctly. Do it. Let it be an art. You know. Let it. Let whatever you struggle with, whatever you, whenever you look in the mirror, this is my mirror right now, just look at yourself and say, hey, you look good. You look good, you know? Um, but yeah, self-pity is something I used to struggle with, honestly. I would always feel sorry for myself, you know, like right after, like, I eventually got fired from Starbucks, you know, um, I failed my state board, which is, if you are a cosmetologist, know that's a big embarrassing failure to do that. It's really embarrassing. I failed my practical by four points. By four points! And I know why I did it, and it's not even like I messed up that horribly, I just, uh, that's another video. I just felt so sorry for myself. I just felt so sorry for myself all the time, and I just like, didn't want to leave my roommate Lauren, I've talked about her, her bedroom ever because I just was thought I was just pathetic and I just, whenever I had interviews, but at my interviews I was pretty like self-conscious. Jobs don't want to hire people who are nervous and who stutter and who are like, uh, who are like, I would say something grammatically incorrect or I would say like too much or I'd say um too much and I'd call myself out like, wow, I sound really dumb right now. <laughs> and they'd be like, all right, uh-huh, you sound, you think you, uh-huh, uh-huh, how you talk under pressure, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's just like, it's, you know, bloop. There went Buffalo Exchange, I got my letter from them, you know, three days later, you are not qualified to work at our high boutique place. And it's just like, wow, well, I wanted 9.50 an hour so bad. There's just a lot of self-pity going on, and the best advice my roommate Lauren gave to me was stop feeling so sorry for yourself. It's just like she never wanted to hear my, you know, after like a week or two, she just got sick of it. And like every time I would start talking about it, she'd be like, oh my God, Gary, this is like totally pissing me off. Can you just like not talk about how depressed you are? Like I'm in a good mood. And you know, some people were like, wow, that's like a bad friend. But honestly, I was just like, I stopped talking about depressed things and I just started talking about funny things. I wasn't happy, you know, I just kind of, Fake being happy a little bit, but there's a lot of other problems that were going around that I had in Arizona, and eventually cried, broke down, called my mom, and left. And every month since, and I've just been kind of building my self confidence back up to now I'm at a new level where I've never been so confident in myself. And I feel like any job I want can become mine, and anything in life is achievable, and I'm just it's like I've never been this happy with myself and I've never been this happy with my appearance and it's great because my skin looks so good, you know? Like, two years ago, I had the worst acne ever, don't believe me, here's a picture! 
in this picture, it's not really high resolution, but this is what I did look like to most people when I wore makeup or edited pictures, but this is unedited. Um, yep. I mean, looking at it now, it, it really isn't that bad, but, you know, then it was everything, and I would just put, you know, like, fake tan on and makeup and try to, like, hide it, and it kind of made it worse. Um, if you look closely, you can see, like, all, like, the little dots and muffled stuff from how much I edited them. Ah, oh, gosh, and just so self-conscious and t had so much self-pity, and it was just like, you know... And since I've been confident and since I've been happy, my skin is like glowing now, you know what I mean? I am glowing. I'm just, I'm happy. People around me are happy. Like, it's just, happiness is contagious, you know? So just be happy. Just spread the love. Be confident. So, long story short, regardless what society thinks of you or how people around you tell you you should look, maybe you should just, like, say, I don't care. Just, like, just, just look at yourself and just be like, I don't. I'm gonna choose to love myself regardless, regardless what these bitches say, you know what I mean? Regardless what they think, regardless about, like, who cares? Who cares? Just feel beautiful within yourself. I don't know, just like, if you want to get brave, just chop off all your hair. If you want to make a dramatic change, just do it, you know what I mean? And just like, just to make the initiative to change requires enough confidence in yourself that you can actually do it, you know? Just like enough confidence in yourself to make that first move. If you have that much confidence, it will grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And I'm, you're just like, whatever you want to do, just like do it 100% confidently and it probably will happen. <laughs> probably. But don't Feel sorry for yourself like I did, you know what I mean? Because that got me nowhere. Don't feel sorry for yourself for anything, because the second you feel sorry for, self, for yourself, just be like, No! I'm not sorry for myself! I am confident in myself! I don't have self-pity anymore. Anytime I feel a moment of self-pity, all I say is, No! Go away! And I'm just confident. I try to be. All the time. And I try to radiate my comp. It's funny because I moved, I have moved my whole life, and I've always kind of had a hard time making friends. In this move, I have only been here for a few months, and I have made so many friends so quickly, only because I've been so confident. And I've made good friends. They're not fake people. They're really cool people. They're really beautiful people. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I love all of you, um, I hope you have a wonderful day, and if you're having a bad day, just look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you're beautiful, because when you hear who does think you're beautiful, this guy, and I'm sure a lot of other people, and they probably don't know how beautiful you actually are because you don't know your actual amount of beauty, and the only way you can find love is if you do love yourself and you are confident and you will find the perfect person, you will find the best friends, you will find life is so much easier when you're confident and when you stand up for stuff that you believe in and you just, yeah, yeah, it's a great feeling. I recommend it. All right, I love you, love all of you, mwah, have a good day.